Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the power supply to the motherboard itself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach the SATA cords from the hard drive and the DVD drive to the actual motherboard as well. So let's start with the power supply. Now this, the power supply cords are right here. They're the ones in the, the netting here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all these other cords out of the way right now. Which actually are from the case. We'll connect those in a bit. But we're going to run these cords out the back and back up through. So we're going to take advantage of the cord, cord management system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hope I can get this on the on the screen here on the Okay. There's a hole back here. So we're going to feed both of these through that hole. First one through. Now we just got to get the second one through. All right, let's just make sure that that looks all right. Okay. Now on the other side, you see them, they've come through here. Now both of these are going to have to come back up through here, so we're going to put them through here. And then we're going to turn this around again. And let's put it back down this way so we can see it. Now this cord the larger of the two is going to be plugged in here. I don't know if you can see it on the... It's right behind the... Let me turn it this way so you can see things better here. Okay, this first connector is going to go in like this. Now i got to keep these together. There we go. And just plugs right in, no problem. The only the only issue with this is actually maneuvering this thick cord around. Other than that, it's going to be an easy plug-in. Just slips in, and that is the first step of this to plug this into the motherboard. It's nice and snug in there. All right, and the second cord is going to be plugged into here, over here. So what we need to do is I just pulled this little cover off of here because we have the 8-pin plug. And this, I believe, was a 24-pin. feed it under here and I don't know if you can see it here this 8 pin cord is going to plug in over here let me move the camera up a little bit so you can see it it's going to plug in right there so let's just make sure we have all the the uh, things going in the right direction and just slide it in and there we go all right, there we go. Now we have the power supply connected to the motherboard. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach these SATA cords from the hard drive to the motherboard and from the DVD drive to the motherboard. 
Now, it's going to be difficult to see this, but the SATA ports on the motherboard are under the, uh, the graphics card. So it's this red, these red ports here. There are um, six of them there. As I said before, this is my first PC build. Um, so I'm making a couple mistakes here. Not major mistakes, but I'm going to have to take the graphics card out again. It's a little snug here with the, with the hard drive. So I want my space to put the, the uh, power uh, connectors in. I'm going to unscrew it here from the expansion slot area. Put it off to the side. Okay, so what we're going to do is attach the SATA cables to the motherboard now for the DVD drive and the hard drive. Um, we're going to start with uh, there's six ports here, and then there's one SATA E1 here, which I'm going to use for the case because there's a SATA port on the front. So, um, let's see, how does this go? We're gonna connect this here. And I'm using a right angle cord here because the graphics card is gonna be right here. Not gonna be much conflict there, but I have two of these SATA six gigabytes per second cords. So I'm gonna use them for the uh, the hard drive and the DVD drive and one of them has a right angle to them and put the other one right here snap that in okay now I'm gonna tuck these behind or at least the top yeah I'll tuck them both behind actually but I'm gonna make my DVD drive the number one SATA connector here. So that's the top one. But uh, there's there's six co connectors here and uh, two per red piece here. I don't know if you can see it very well but there's it, the connectors are red and uh, they're stacked. So there's two here, there's two here, there's two here and uh, they're numbered. Top one is one, bottom one is three, and then two, four, and five, six. So um, we're going to put this one on the number one. And this case is a little tight. I didn't think it was going to be tight, but it is. So Go. Snapped in. That's cord number one. And we're going to tuck that in a second. Actually, I'm going to get it out of the way right now. There we go. And I'll tuck it back behind in a second. Tuck that a little bit. It. It's a tight fit on this case. Maybe I should have gotten a, a large, larger case, but I think I'll live here. There we go. I got it tucked, and I got to slide this in. There we go. Nice and connected. Now I'm just going to tuck this on the back end, so... <clears throat> that's good there and I'm going to tuck the DVD cord back behind here and we have zip ties for a lot of these things so once everything's all said and done I can tie everything up nice and tidy on the back end here but for right now I'm just going to Pull this through. I don't know if you can see it here, but that's the DVD cord, and just kind of pull it through. 
to make it a little more tidy. And there we go. So those are attached now. We've got the DVD drive and the hard drive attached to the motherboard. Just make sure all the connections are nice and snug. Okay. Now, the other thing on my case here, I have on the front of, of the bezel here, I have a, uh, a SATA port. I'm going to try this uh, SATA E1 port here. I could put it in one of the other ones, but um, I've heard online that uh, uh, you might want to use this dedicated port here, the SATA E1 for the uh, front of the case. And there we go. That's that. I will push that through and tuck that one too so it gets out of my way. And allows for maximum airflow in here. Now I do have to have I do have to attach some other things from the front of the case, the uh, power button, the reset button, some LEDs and things like that, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, right now, the main priority is to attach the power supply to the hard drive and the DVD drive, and uh, then attach the power supply also to the graphics card and install that. So basically, all the major components um, will be powered up. Um, then we're going to have to work on attaching the fans, attaching these cords here, these cables. There's a, an expansion slot on the back I'm going to do, which uh, has, I think, firewire and USB. We're going to do that. And then, of course, we have to put the, the uh, liquid cooling heat sink on the processor. So those are the things that we need to do still, but uh, I just want to wrap this up so I can pretty much get everything in and ready to go. So um, let's attach the power to our two drives here. And in order to do that, we're going to use this SATA connector that came with the, the uh, power supply.